What is going on YouTube? This is the LA engineering student here and we are going to go do a quick start to finish printing a model. So I have already downloaded the model from Thingverse. Thank you Thingverse. That was very nice. And thank you to our friend uh, Ace Crest, I believe. Yes, I believe that is the Yeah, okay. Anyways, here's what it looks like. I'll go ahead and rotate that. There you go. That's a little bit better view. So it goes on the uh, top of the printer there, screws right into some existing screws to help guide the filament and keep it coming in in uh, a nice parallel fashion to the extruder and also kind of encouraging good de-spooling. So anyways, also I'm personally wanting to print it so that I can give my printer a little bit more experience and of course uh, you know give myself a little more experience so let's see here open file let's go ahead and put you in documents business 3d printing files filament guide fixed there we are. I'd rather not. So let's. Ooh, man, my computer's a bit of a dinosaur. Forgive me. So we're gonna hold shift and move the mount. Uh, hold shift and left. Hold down left click to move that around. Middle wheel will zoom in. Let's go ahead and. Can I rotate? No. Nope. Come on. Can I rotate, maybe? There's got to be a way to do that. Well, there might be a way, but I haven't figured it out yet. Hmm. Don't really like that. Uh... There, that is... Somehow or another, that's a better view than what I started with. So there it is. Let's go ahead and go over to our settings. Now, this is the second thing I have ever printed. Profile, draft quality. Let's go 0.4 per layer. Let's stick on draft for now. I don't want to change up. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go, oh, jeez. I don't even I don't even know what that's about okay so layer height initial layer height outer wall width inner wall width outer wall width 0.4 millimeters hmm now let's go ahead and leave that inner wall width infill lines skim wall thickness it's a little thick. Let's go down. Let's go 0 0.6. Oh, come on. Can I get a decimal? You know, this part is not... Oh, come on, buddy. Man, I tell you, the fact that I can't run this extremely simple software without my computer hiccuping might be cause enough for me to get a new laptop, but... Infill density, I'm actually going to lower this to 15. We'll see how that looks. Gradual infill steps. What on earth? Well, I'll have to read about that later. Man, this program is just... This is so embarrassing right now that this program is just chugging. I'm gonna up the temperature because I had a problem with jamming last time. I don't know if it was related to the printing temperature, but let's go up 
to 242. I feel like 245 might just be too big of a step. Probably isn't. I'll tell you what, we'll go to 243. We'll make it just a little bit bigger of a step. Holy cow. Diameter flow. Enable retraction, retraction distance. Oh my gosh. Print speed. Let's go ahead and bump this up to 33. Actually, you know, is that a big step? Three millimeter difference per second? Maybe not. It's not that, it might not be that small of a step either in, in a small distance, but anyways. Initial layer speed, that's my initial layer. Initial layer travel speed. I think we can bump the travel speed up. That's not really a big deal. I mean, I guess you might want to keep it lower if, uh, you know, you're worried about stuff going on. Um, cooling. You know, where's my bed temperature setting? Yeah, I should have a build plate. The setting has been hidden by the values of has heated build plate G code flavor. Oh, good lord. Well, I'll just have to deal with that manually, I guess. Eighty wasn't bad for a fan speed. Let's try reducing that just a little. No support, according to the designer. Oh, come on. There we go. So hopefully I don't think it'll give me a brim now that I don't want. None. Okay, so I do have to select this individually. Wow, you know, last time I used this program, it was not this chuggy. This is insane. I don't know what is going on. Computer is hiccuping on something. What's going on? What doesn't it want? What doesn't it like right now? Is there some setting that it doesn't like? There we go. Oh, I was thinking. Oh, I see. Well, that's fine. You're allowed to think. Mm. Now, more importantly... Forgive me, YouTube, I'm still getting accustomed to some amount of new inventory I've acquired. Strike one on that box. Strike two. They were more easily accessible than I realized. Okay, so. Tell you what, I will save this to a disc and we will come back when I am in front of the printer and getting ready to go. So I realize it's been a long and not terribly exciting video, but, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm, you know, one of the things I feel kind of strongly about in YouTube is giving people a realistic, a realistic experience of how long things take in life. Um, 
You know, everyone loves to make a three minute video and say, hey, do A, B, and C, and that's how it works out. And, you know, sometimes maybe it does work out like that, but uh, other times it takes, uh, you know, a few minutes of messing around. Um, go ahead and save that. Maybe I'll take out this really ugly text at the beginning and just call it filament guide. All right, so we'll come back in a little bit and we'll start printing and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and keep engineering.